Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another reaction video. Now, I will admit, I'm pretty late to this one. This video was released like two days ago. Um, you know, the day that I took off so I can, you know, just chill for a bit. And of course, it came out that day, so I'm here right now reacting to it. Sorry it took so long, but this is the food theory on the Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I said I was gonna do a reaction to this when MatPat first announced that he was doing a food theory for Chuck E. Cheese. Cause you know, FNAF, Chuck E. Cheese, people like to connect the two, especially recently. And I looked at the first like 10 seconds, I have not seen the full video, I swear. Um, and Foxy makes an appearance, so I'm guessing he'll probably throw in a lot of FNAF easter eggs. So honestly, let's not waste any more time, let's just hop straight into Food theory, should you be eating the Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Because maybe it's recycled? The actual title is Food Theory, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza, Should You Be Scared? Now I'm guessing it's probably going to tackle the topic of Shane Dawson, cause like in 2018 I wanna say, he made a documentary about the recycled pizza that Chuck E. Cheese uses. I don't know anything about that, so again, let's just hop straight into it. Alright, so again, this is Food Theory, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza, Should You Be Scared? Here we go. MatPat enjoying some pizza. Nope, There's Foxy. Spoontrap. <laughs> and Balloon Boy. Just sad. Okay, everyone, listen up. I've been doing a oh, lot boy. of FNAF episodes over on Game Theory, alright? A lot. A so lot. Too many. Even say too many. So if you want to make me <laughs> scream, it's gonna take more than jump scares and a creepy pizza. I swear I haven't seen this. <laughs> Something fresh, something different. Well, if you want something fresh. Nightmare Mangle, you have the floor. That pizza you're eating was recycled from used pizzas. Yeah, we just ran the pieces to other patrons left. Interesting voices. Them together to make a quote unquote new pizza for you. Uh, uh, uh. I haven't done a reaction to food theory, so I'm hyped about this. Blade Man, of course. This is an interesting opening. Hello, I will say, Matt. I do kind of like it. Food theory, where a theorist can be a theorist. If your upbringing was Very nice. Like mine, the go-to place for birthday parties when you were a kid Ooh, the OG Helen Henney. Showbiz Pizza. If you harken back to the olden days, like I know a lot about Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz, by the way. Discovery Zone. Let me just say, great, but definitely a lot more birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese. Gotta admit. I mean, what yeah. is not to love here? Chuck E. Cheese has it all: games, ball pits, slightly creepy animatronic bands. Sounds familiar. Character suits and. Of course, pizza. And that, my friend, sounds familiar. Theory begins because there's a bizarre rumor that's been floating around the internet about the pizza served at Chuck E. Cheese, hmm. and it's been out there for over a decade. Oh Close shoot! Mind that this hasn't been proven or disproven yet. The theory. Wow, is that really? Somebody at Chuck e. Cheese I didn't know it was that long. Their whole pizza. The employees take it to the back, take those pieces off the tray, and then use them to form a new pizza to serve the customers. All of it is a means hmm. to save money. Now, why the heck? Again. Would I don't know a whole lot about this. Nearly this crazy. That is a bold claim to be making because it is definitely illegal for a restaurant to secretly reserve That's a yikes. to a different customer. But if you look around online, the quote unquote evidence is there. Picture after picture after picture online documenting the strangely shaped Chuck E. Cheese pizza <laughs> Mucked up. Slices that are different lengths, crust edges that don't line up, pepperonis that just don't match. But it was a little over a year ago when this conspiracy theory. Oh, it was 2019? Was big time. Jeez. YouTube, when a YouTuber who shall not be named went to Chuck E. Cheese to quote unquote <laughs> what a what an ominous YouTuber ordering two pizzas and to find that he did indeed receive some janky looking results. Forty million views later, Jesus the damage Christ. was done. Chuck E. Cheese is now filing for bankruptcy and becoming the literal embodiment of violence and prejudice. Don't get me wrong, I think there Very are nice. a lot of reasons for their financial difficulties: declining interest in arcade-style restaurants in an era of accessible free video games, True. pandemics keeping people out of stores. The fact that the robots legitimately look like they want to eat our souls, thereby spawning generations of children with animatronic nightmares. But you know, rumors of broken health codes and the pizza definitely ain't helping their bottom line. So what is going on here? Looking around the internet, good question, Matt. Plenty of evidence that Chuck E. Cheese serves pizza that looks stitched together, but. 
<laughs> stitched together like they're sewing it evidence of sliced recycling Ugh. i've yet to see any footage for instance of a chuck e cheese employee carrying a pizza back into the kitchen and let's be honest in this age where anyone can doctor a photo for upvotes on reddit it's official happens after reading a headline oh, rather boy. than reading the whole article where all the evidence that you need to prove something is an n of one something smells wrong here and i'm not just talking something fishy suits. there are plenty of unanswered questions in this chuck e cheese conspiracy and we here at food theory aim to answer those questions let's go today i want to know what the corporate response from chuck e cheese oh was boy. for one thing perhaps they have a perfectly sane explanation for it i'm also curious Maybe. to know whether chuck e cheese's pizzas still look like this in 2020 over a year after they got put on blast by i haven't seen a recent pizza from them so i can't tell off of them, or are they confident that they have nothing to hide also do pizzas at every chuck e cheese restaurant turn out this way like how I swear mine didn't. Above all else, I the one I used to go to. Why are the pizzas turning out to look all mismatched? Whether it's shady or not, there has to be a reason for it. And I intend to determine Satan what Chucky. once and for all. Because rumors like this can do real damage. And if these rumors are indeed unfounded, then the internet needs to know, because that would mean Chuck E. Cheese is really getting the short end of the awkwardly sized pizza slice. In I would not want that, that one. Massive Chuck E. Cheese video, CEC Entertainment, Chucky's parent company, had this. Chose well, Entertainment so Cheese. Here, our pizzas are made to order, and we prepare our dough fresh in restaurant, which means that they're not always perfectly uniform in shape, but always delicious. Hmm. End quote. Okay, but no one was really doubting that the dough was prepared in restaurant. Like, the PR team, they saw people sharing these photos online, and they watched the video exposés, and that was the accusation that they felt like they needed to defend Oh, dough is fresh. I mean, Come on, fresh boys. dough is fine. I've had fresh dough from plenty of pizza places. I've made fresh dough myself. But those Chef pizzas, Pat. including my own janky pizzas, never look as haphazard as these. <laughs> Even in my worst-looking pizzas made at home, I have never had a fresh dough look that just randomly juts out like this at awkward sharp angles it just doesn't True. happen that way the stuff about the shape not being uniform misses the point entirely this isn't about the fact that Chuck E. Cheese pizzas aren't perfectly round it's that the pizzas don't look cohesive like every other pizza in existence does the pieces straight up look like they originated from different pies you can't expect me to believe the reason that this pizza's perimeter looks the way it does is because Chuck E. Cheese makes their dough quote fresh in red that's kind of an odd statement, Chucky. What we're talking about here. All you guys had to do was say, we do not recycle other consumers' pizza. <laughs> and you didn't do that. Suffice it to say, Bruh, CCC what are you doing, Joes? To it that doesn't quite put my concerns at rest. By the way, the recycled slices fiasco isn't the only scandal plaguing Chuck E. Cheese at the moment either. In May, reports emerged that Chuck E. Cheese was selling its pizzas under a pseudonym on delivery apps. That I is true. This Pascali's Pizza and Wings on Grub Pasquale. Pub CEC essentially found a way to trick adults into buying Chuck E. Cheese pizza. After they got caught, and got caught, of course they did, a company <laughs> spokesperson admitted to the pseudonym but insisted that the pizzas from Pascali's, which happens to be the name of another Let's go. Of the make believe band, the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic band, were slightly different, having a thicker crust and more sauce. The spokesperson conceded, however, that <laughs> Pascali's pizzas are made in the same kitchen as Chuck E. Cheese's pizza with the exact same ingredients. Oh, so it's kind of the same pizza. Chuck E. Cheese has weathered more scandals in the past couple of years than any wholesome pizza place for kids should. But yeah. are the scandals of their own making? Does Chuck E. Cheese deserve to get dragged like this? I just can't bring myself to believe that any multinational restaurant chain could do something so dangerous, so brazenly illegal as intentionally recycling leftover pizza slices. Like, hmm. I don't care how much much of a cheapskate you are, that is just a new level of low. Perhaps there's a benign explanation for why their pizzas look all Frankenstein together. Like Dread they Bale pizza? together slices from fresh pizzas rather than used pizzas. Sure, it'd be a weird company policy, but it's no weirder than recycling slices and sending them through the oven twice. What I'm saying is that yeah. the recycled slices theory new is channel confirmed. with potential legal ramifications. If recycling slices is company-wide policy, I have to believe employees would be sounding the alarm about it loud and clear. So what I want is evidence of wrongdoing. I want to see the security 
cameras. Come on, put them in. Back into the kitchen because photos of strange looking pizzas just aren't enough. Sure, it looks as though their crust edges don't line up, but what gives me pause is that the interior points of each slice are scattered about. As to say, the crust edges might line up if the pieces were arranged with the points touching at the middle. The same goes for the pepperoni halves that don't line up. For one thing, I feel like some of those could have just been pushed down by the blade into the crevices. Between Maybe. Slices. For another, I've cut enough pizzas to know that sometimes one of those pepperoni halves will just stick to the blade. So we here at Food Theory did what we oh always boy. do when we need more info. We <laughs> ran an experiment ourselves. Oh now, boy. All the cheese dining rooms near us were closed due to COVID, so we could only go inside for takeout orders. Let's go get some pizza, shall we? If I Let's don't go. Out, just assume I was stuffed inside of an animatronic suit, okay? And can I just I'll say, make sure to check in the back. Chuck E. Cheese restaurant had a I'll check in the heads. Vibe to it. Of course, doesn't say anything about their pizza, but hey, can't just let Five Nights at Freddy's stuff slide without mentioning it. Innocent construction project? Or building a sister location? Poople guy! Mysterious construction out front, you know it's an underground bunker. It's okay, purple guy, dude, totally. Results, we expanded upon internet experiments by looking at a larger number of pizzas from numerous restaurants across multiple days. Steph and I tackled the East Coast, while Food Theory field researcher and Tootsie Pop champion Amy covered the West Coast. Amy, I might have, wasn't quite as creeped out by the empty restaurants as I was. It's Chucky! It's Chucky! Let's go, Chucky! The two of us have ordered 10 pizzas from five different Chuck E. Cheese locations. We wow. also made sure to get the pizzas in a variety of different ways. Some we picked up as takeout, some we ordered on various delivery apps. We even ordered a couple pizzas from Pascali's Pizza and wow. Wings just to see what the heck is up with that one. Is that still, like, on the app, though? Many of the pizzas, if any, would look stitched together. Obviously, the eyes of the world have been on Chuck E. Cheese for the past couple of years. So We're looking at you, mouse. ...capitulated and changed their pizza-making process as a result. And as soon as we opened the boxes, we had our answer. Chuck oh boy. Cheese has made zero changes. Their pizzas look the way that they've always looked, which is That's a yikes. It definitely looks like this piece doesn't belong. It looks like this piece doesn't belong, but it's actually like hard to jigger it into a shape that looks like it should be the pizza shape. In all, I'd say three hmm. of the ten pizzas have that Frankenstein-y quality to them. It's clearly not your prettiest pizza. And the delivery method Can has I see? to do with it. The oh. reason we ordered some of them as takeout was just so we could eliminate any jostling from the delivery process as a variable. Steph and I opened a pizza box right there outside of the restaurant in the parking lot, and it had crust and pepperonis that didn't line up. So I am confident that whatever That's a yikes call. Pizzas, it's I mean, Charles. In the kitchen. <laughs> that means if we're going to crack this mystery, we need to get eyes in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. So, team theorists reached out Never to seen the real life Chuck E. Cheese employees for interviews. One of the interviewees who requested requested to go by their Reddit username, The Who, was a CEC employee at Ooh. two different Chuck E. Cheese locations in two different cities, and worked there years before the viral video that set this conspiracy theory on fire. The other, who also asked to go by their Reddit username, Classy underscore Corpse, is a current oh. employee who began working after that viral <laughs> video was released. Both have experienced bussing tables at Chuck E. Cheese, meaning if the recycled slices theory is or was ever CEC policy, they would have been specifically responsible for taking the slices back into the kitchen. Hmm. Furthermore, both employees have some first-hand knowledge of the kitchen and the pizza-making process. The two written interviews were conducted independently of one another, yet we received similar answers from both of our interviewees, who both completely oh. rejected the notion that Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese might recycle their slices. According to the current CEC employee, quote, the recycled pizza is definitely a myth. Believe me, even the staff would never think of doing such a thing. And the former employee agreed, writing, quote, no, having worked at two different locations, I have never seen ever anyone even think this was a good idea. It just isn't worth it to CEC to do this. They were equally unified in their True. responses when we asked about the possibility of leftover food being taken back to the uh, kitchen. That don't look good. Employees agree that it's something that just doesn't happen. CEC entertainment policy is that leftover food be thrown out in the thank you boxes, <laughs> aka their name for the trash bins in the dining thank room. Thank you, game but floor area. get out of my restaurant. CEC employee explained that no one wanted to eat you. Followed by employees. Quote from them, when I bust the tables, we dump any excess food in the trash bin out on the game room floor. We don't bring any food back to the kitchen unless someone demands to reheat their pizza to which we have to oblige. And our own field experiments hmm. support these claims. Remember, we ordered all of our pizzas during lockdown. I even bought myself a Chuck E. Cheese face mask as a keepsake. Dude, obviously looking good, Matthew. ...during a pandemic, but in this case, it actually helped us. Because the dining rooms are closed at every restaurant that we ordered a pizza from, we 
know for a fact that none of our 10 pizzas came from other customers left. That is true. But there are no customers in the restaurant. Good observation, Matthew. COVID actually allowed us to control an entire variable that otherwise we couldn't have controlled. And as a result, when we opened our pizza boxes and saw Frank and Damn, dude. the pizzas, it really told us something. It told us that there is no way that leftovers are part of this mystery. With but why does it look like that, equation, man? Chuck E. Cheese's pizzas just still come out looking like this. So there must be another explanation. Yeah. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Chuck. It's okay, Matt Pat. I forgive you. However, before I list Whoa. the recycled slices theory as 100% Theorist certified false. There's a huge question left to answer. Why do the pizzas come out looking so Why? Much? Like there are a gazillion other pizza companies out there. Why is it that Chuck E. Cheese is like the only <laughs> one in existence to have this freaky looking one? Just the can't get it right. CEC I guess. We interviewed had a surprisingly simple answer for this. An answer that I kind of feel like CEC Entertainment should have just come out and said for themselves when this whole conspiracy theory hit the Let's fan it. years ago. According to the employee, quote, the uneven topping look comes from the blade we use. The rocking blade has next to no edge on it for safety reasons. Therefore, it's an absolute pain when it comes to cutting pizzas with it, which is what gives it the Frankenstein look, if you will. If you want to find the other half of your pepperoni slice, it's slipped to the inside of the cup. And the former employee Makes added sense. the process of transferring the pizzas from the cooking rack onto the cutting board and finally onto the serving tray is also contributing to the jostled appearance that some of the pizzas have. Our field experiments support these claims as well. Food theory field researcher Amy specifically noticed that the Chuck E. Cheese slices were surprised Blue? lightweight. They didn't have oh. a lot of sauce or cheese like what? pieces together. So I will say this. These pieces of pizza don't seem very weighty. They don't have a lot of crust to them. They don't have a lot of toppings, even if you ask for extra. And so hmm. I feel like when they're getting cut up, if it's done really roughly, it's really... I mean, that does make sense. Throw these pieces of pizza around. So it all comes down to the pizza rocker that they use to cut the pieces. The blades are dull, and as a result, they wreck the pizzas more than a sharpened blade otherwise would. Ironically, hmm. it's the safety policy that Chuck E. Cheese has in place that's led <laughs> to a conspiracy theory accusing them of serving unsafe pizza. Now, remember how we also got those how pizzas ironic. Pascali's Pizza and Wings? The pizzas that CEC Entertainment claims are thicker, have more sauce? Well, since they're being prepared in the exact same kitchen as Chuck E. Cheese pizzas, that means Pascali's pizza should hold up better against the dull pizza rockers being used in those kitchens. After all, it's more substantial and has more sauce holding the pieces in place, right? And that's actually exactly what we found. Neither of the pizzas delivered from Pascali's really wow. showed Frankenstein attributes. Whereas they do look better. Eight of the Chuck E. Cheese pizzas did. So there you have it, friends. The Chuck E. Cheese Resolved. Slices conspiracy theory is hereby declared 100% theorist certified false. Do the pizzas come out looking hmm. wacky sometimes? Absolutely. Absolutely, but yep. there's nothing illegal or unsafe behind it. If anything, the restaurant's guilty of being overly safe. Just don't How tell that one to the animatronics. But hey, that's just a theory. A Dude, theory. I can't believe they got Chucky to say the outro. Well, I guess that was just a shockingly simple answer to uh to the question on whether or not they do recycle their pizzas. Very nice, Matt. I will say. I enjoyed this one. Of course, I loved the subtle FNAF references every now and then, but to be fair, I think we were all expecting that this was going to be <laughs> heavily based around FNAF references. Because not only do you gotta get people, you know, interested in the video, it's like always oh, talking about FNAF. But also, it's like, you know, FNAF and Chuck E. Cheese are being linked for some reason. Because Chuck E. Cheese are closing some locations, and people want Scott to buy the locations and turn it into Freddy's, which of course is not gonna happen. But yeah, overall, very nice theory. Again, I wasn't educated really in this conspiracy. I mean, I saw it happen, but it's like, I didn't care for it. Because the location close to me was closed down years ago, so I've been lonely. I've been without a Chuck E. Cheese for quite a while now. Anyways, yeah. That was the video, hope you all enjoyed. If there are any more interesting food theory videos, maybe I'll cover them. And I tend to keep my reaction to game theory, food theory, film theory videos when they're close to FNAF because that's what people like to see me react to. So yeah, if you like this, maybe we can do some more sometime. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side.